Hello, I'm Jack Reese, Vice President of Research and Development here at Hall of Fame. We're part of the Acuity Brands Lighting Group. If you're in the lighting industry, you probably already know that for well over a century, we've been a leading manufacturer of highly engineered lighting systems. Since the beginning, Hall of Fame scientists have harnessed the efficiencies of reflecting and refractive prismatics and embedded those into every optical piece we make. Because of this, we've been able to deliver to the entire world innovative lighting solutions. Solutions that continue to deliver outstanding performance and efficiency. Our ability to integrate the fundamental benefits of glass with our patented geometrically designed prisms has been the key ingredient to our success. Is it time yet? Because of our unwavering commitment to industry-leading product development, I'm excited to tell you about our newest scientific breakthrough in glass optical design, ISD Superglass. That's right, baby, we rule. As you'll soon see, this is truly an industry-changing innovation in glass optical design. And the benefits of this new product line will become readily apparent. Now, is it time for me now? Not yet, Pete, just a minute. To better understand what I've been talking about, you should really see Hall of Fame's glass manufacturing process. In fact, to accomplish this, I'd like to introduce our resident glass expert and newest employee, Prism Pete, who seems more than eager to take you on a guided tour. Okay, Pete, you can come out now. Phew, finally. I mean, it's dark back there, you know. I thought you'd forgotten about me. Yeah, like that's possible. As you can see, Pete is uh, uniquely qualified to be your guide. Well, Pete, are you ready to take us on a tour of how Hall of Fame glass luminaires are produced? Sure am, boss. Come on, gang, stick close and follow me. And uh, don't worry, I'll show you all the cool stuff he doesn't want you to see. Follow me. Good luck. All new glass fixtures begin with a concept, then are converted into a two-dimensional drawing to show prism cuts and angles. A 3D CAD model is then designed, and a working prototype is shaped. If everything looks good, we go on to the mold shop. Whoa, sorry. Whoa. Okay, here we are. All tooling required starts and ends in the mold shop, where tool and die experts hone their skills in producing exacting glass mold and accompanying plungers. Prisms are cut at precise angles which translate to the desired optimum photometric distributions. Woo! Next, we'll head to what is affectionately known as the batch house, or mixing house. Boo! Watch your head! Yep, this is where all the raw glass making ingredients are mixed together to meet Hall of Fame's secret formula standards. 
Going up. Now the raw ingredients get dropped in the mixer, shake and bake, and it's ready to go. And here it is, the magic elixir of life that will produce many more prisms just like me. With the batch is mixed, we head on over to the furnace where things are really beginning to heat up. <laughs> cool. This is like going to Disney World. I just hope there's no big drop at the top. Load her up and now we shake it on down into the furnace. This massive furnace now melts all the raw ingredients down into a liquid form so it can be injected into the molds. Let's take a look. Now, here's where the fun begins. The glass reflector takes shape as it's poured into a mold and pressed into its solid state. Check it out. You can actually see the molten glass being formed into prison. It's my future family being born. Open sesame. Oh, sorry. Woo! Careful now, back up. Be a little too close. The glass immediately starts cooling down. But be careful, don't touch. Yeah, this glass, it'll bite back. Now we have to cut out the bottom of the glass fixture. That's what we call the heel. This is so you can attach a lamp and balance assembly to it later. So, the next step is to run it through the leer, where in several stages, the glass cools down to room temperature. Uh, excuse me guys, make room. Make room, excuse me. Celebrity come through. Excuse me, excuse me. Whew, man, it's hot in here. Ah, uh, that's better. This is where the finished glass fixture really gets looked over for any flaws or quality imperfections. It's not up to snuff, we recycle it back into the furnace. Whoops, excuse me, let me get out of your way. After careful inspections, the glass is packed and ready to be sent to assembly. Let's go. Hi guys, don't mind us, just passing through. Hi there. Now we can see how the glass section fits into the finished lighting fixture. First, the ballast assembly is put together. Then we add the gaskets and the glass optics. Highly skilled assemblers take great care of putting each and every Hall of Fame product together like it was their own. Depending on the fixture, other ancillary components may be added, like rings, covers, guards, or even decorative trims. Nah. Cool, huh? Well, that's all there is to it. Soup to nuts. Pretty neat, huh? Actually, there are a lot of other fine details and intermediate steps, but that's the overall production flow. Well, there goes another group. It's always tough to see them go. You know, kind of gets you right here, you know. Like when your kids go off to college. I know, I know. They're just lights, but hey. Thanks, Pete. Prison Pete's great little tour clearly showed the substantial investments that Hall of Fame places into every luminaire that we make. In fact, prior to that point of manufacture, we have already invested heavily into the fundamental research and development of those products. Hall of Fame's new ISD Superglass is our most recent success from this investment into research and development. 
and it continues our long-standing commitment of providing our customers with the lowest operational costs long term. So what is ISD Superglass? ISD Superglass is a revolutionary new reflector design derived from over two years of intense research. Research that started with a focus on the science behind illuminating a large-scale space with tall ceilings. ISD stands for Ideal Synergetic Distribution. We started with the high-level mathematics that drives the design of every single prism on the reflector. Then our optical engineer had to integrate the prismatic elements into the overall shape of the reflector itself in order to generate ideal distribution. After the new reflector was engineered, we had to conduct extensive experimentation with the glass molding process you witnessed earlier in the video tour. And after a substantial investment of time and resources, we were able to produce our two new ISD reflectors. The end result of this new product development is a lighting reflector that provides up to 28% more light to the task than the next best alternative. So there you have it, ISD Superglass, just one of the many upcoming innovations in lighting from Holofer. And in the future, our newest employee, Prism Pete, will play a key role in introducing some of these great new innovations. Yeah, let's tell them about the uh, Pete. And, and the Pete. Oh, and then there's the Heat. Uh, I gotta go. We might want to keep a close eye on him. But in the meantime, your local Hall of Fame sales professional can help you with applying our new ISD Superglass or any of our other high performance products to help you experience lighting's best.